must be quite interesting to kind of walk across from the Vader Studios back to here and sort of remember parts of the river. It feels a long time ago, and I guess perhaps because we're in the beginning of autumn, well, we're well into autumn now, and certainly autumn when it's coming. Um, it's quite a distant memory for me. But my memory is, is of um, surprise, but also kind of delight of how many people turned up mm. with pants. Um, and of meeting on a roundabout. Mm. Yes, I mean, that, that day, it was late June, last weekend in June, and it was just an amazing feeling to, to be standing there on the centre of the roundabout and see people emerge. I think we came from two different directions and, and so many more people than, than I expected. And you never know with these kind of things, but it, carrying them in all sorts of different contraptions. It was a really good feeling. And then the, the excitement at the beginning, almost too much excitement, <laughs> uh, of planting them. I mean, we, yes, we yes, barely yes. started. We'd been doing the mobile mover, but we, we had a lot more to, 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 to travel. Um, but, but people were eager to, to dig and, and, and offload, perhaps, yeah. and, and make a statement um, more permanently in the roundabout. I suppose specifically to this project, we were thinking not about just the movement of people, but the movement of animals, actually. Uh, and that was something I became quite interested in. Uh, both from the work that Rich had been doing anyway with gorilla planting, but also literally the mobile gardeners having to move from side to side. But how to make that kind of visible in a public space. Um, how to make it kind of celebratory in a way. So that's really, I guess that's part of what this project's given me in terms of my thinking about, about the future. About, um, I think there's innately a kind of culture of care around how people were carrying and it's obviously the care in terms of having cultivated the plants that they that they brought. So the walk just revealed all those different phenomena in a way. Um, but for me the the idea of being in a place very very briefly with with some plants um, was 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 new. And I also uh, really enjoyed being silent. Um, Whilst I do a lot of gardening on my own, a big part of the appeal for me is the social side of it and, and the chatter. And I, I happily chatter away. But Simon's encouragement for us to do it in silence was um, a refreshing way to see my local area and to notice things that I perhaps otherwise wouldn't have because I was just in a burble of noise. We kind of existed in our relative disciplines in a way and um, found a way of, of bringing them together. Um, quite early on. Um, so although there were surprises along the way and you know when you enter a public space walking, carrying, doing a kind of collective action like that you never really know how it's going to be received. I think the actual the actual thing was probably quite close to what we'd mm, visualised. It was. It was. I mean it was a great, it was a great relief because actually from my point of view, that one of the big concerns was making sure that the day we picked to do the mobile meadow event itself would be the day when the plants were in flower. And I think it, it did feel, from my point of view, it's hard to say how it was received, but it, it felt a very celebratory action. It did. I think it was reflected in the films and the images. Um, yeah, and it continues through the seed harvesting and distribution yeah.